Um, so we can go back. And we can go forward. And we can refresh the page. And we can refresh and then stop the refresh. Well, refresh, stop. Alright, well it does work, it's just I guess my internet is quick and it uh, won't take time to do that. Um, but if it's a large page like, uh, let's try MSN. MSN.com. Oh, can't do enter. Press go. Alright, we can stop the page. And the page is stopped. So, um, that's cool. If you don't want to uh, press the play button in order to do this all the time and you want to make um, your own application file or a .exe file this is how you do it. You're going to go to file and you're going to save all and you're going to save it anywhere. I just usually save it to my uh, desktop. Um, press OK and the name and, s and the solution name should basically just keep the same and you're going to create a directory uh, for a solution. So click save Okay, so uh, that's saved, and now you're going to want to build the web browser. So we're going to click on build and build web browser. And so basically, you should have everything set to go. So let's click on the folder, which is right here, web browser. Let's double click it. Go into the web browser folder. Click on bin, debug, and here it is. Um, you can make a shortcut to it that's what I'm gonna do and you can put it anywhere you want if you want to change the icon to it you can just uh, right click it go to properties and go to shortcut and change icon um, by default you're not gonna have any icons to select from so we're gonna have to do that manually you gotta go to browse go to your computer click on your C drive and then click on Windows and we're going to go into a folder called uh, Shell. I th yeah, Shell. Uh, let's look for that. Uh, no, System32. Sorry about that. Click on System32. And now we're going to look for the file Shell32. Shell32.dll. Uh, um, click on that and then click Open. And now it's going to give you a huge amount of uh, different files that you can use. Uh, we'll just uh, use uh, this uh, globe. Click OK, apply, and OK. Uh, and now you can rename it to your web browser name. I'll name it PC Web Browser. And here you go. Uh, now you have your web browser set, and if you click it, you can now launch it. And as you see, it is a function in web browser. Although it doesn't have uh, the advanced uh, web browser um, tools in it, uh, you can still use it. Um, so. I thought that would help guys. I thought it was really cool. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.